So we just got back from grocery shopping. I just put everything away, but I wanted to show you some new stuff that we got because we just got a fresh time in. So here is part of our fresh time haul. So we got some organic mushrooms. These were two for $4. We also got um, sour cream. This was actually surprisingly inexpensive. This was only $1.99 um, for an eight ounce, which usually we just get the daisy, I think it's called but still pretty inexpensive. I got this even though we don't eat that many vegetables, or at least I don't, I can dip the bell peppers or maybe the carrots in it. Um, it's the organic ranch veggie dip from Marzetti, which I like this when we weren't on keto, but the fact that it's organic and it literally only has two carbs. Not the best ingredients, but it's organic soybean oil, so I was told it's a little bit better. And two tablespoons is 140 calories. We also got the Organic Valley Heavy Whipping Cream for our keto coffees in the morning. Unfortunately, we're trying to look for the Horizon Heavy Whipping Cream, but it seems like every time we go somewhere, they're out of it. So it's just a little small one, but it'll suffice for now. We had this. This was on sale at our Fresh Time for, I think it was $2.99. So yeah, this was only $2.99 for the uncured pepperoni from Applegate. We see a lot of Applegate products at our Target, but nowhere that we actually shop at has the Applegate products, but now I guess Fresh Time does. Um, you can barely see the nutrition's on here, but it is one slice, 120 calories, zero carbs, six protein, 10 fats. Um, and obviously it's <clears throat> no preservatives and nitrate, nitrate free. That's exciting. We also saw these. This was pretty inexpensive too. I think this is like $2.99. And usually we get the old Wisconsin uncured snack sticks, but this one was pretty inexpensive, but it was just already there. So one stick is 90 calories. I think it's higher in calories, but um, has better ingredients in it. So five sticks for $2.99. We also got boar's head. My animals are fighting. <laughs> we got boar's head bacon, which I've never had boar's head bacon. We haven't been able to really get boar's head products here in Iowa. Well, I should re rephrase that. We have boar's head products, but we haven't really had it where we can actually try it. So yeah, we got um, some boar's head bacon. Yeah. It's a simplicity line, 12 ounces, and I think this is $6.99. So a little bit more than I would personally like to spend on bacon, but with the actual ingredients and without any hormones or antibiotics, it's pretty, pretty good deal, especially that we can actually get Boar's Head products in at our fresh time now. Interesting, celery juice solids. <laughs> but yeah, it's 3.5 fat, zero carbs, four protein for two slices and 50 calories which is kind of lower than the bacon that we usually get. So I'm really excited to try it. I'm very picky about my bacon, which I know sounds stupid, but um, some of the brands that you know say that they're paleo and sugar-free, I just don't like them. Um, so I'm really hoping that this is good. We also got some strawberries, not organic, but these were the only ones that they had. The organic section was completely wiped out. And then also my favorite whipped cream in the entire world. I just love it. It tastes like regular whipped cream. Great ingredients. Well, I wouldn't say great ingredients, but way better ingredients than buying like Cool Whip, I guess. One carb, so not bad. This is delicious. Put this on my coffees and my carrots. My carrots. We also had Halo Top there. Same prices as any other store. It was like $4.99. We got the vanilla so that we can do some diet root beer and do some root beer floats. Maybe for Valentine's Day as a dessert. Uh, a couple lemons. I love lemonade, but honestly, I use this more for chicken. Um, I love getting chicken, bacon wrapped the chicken, and do a lemon and heavy cream sauce. It's my favorite. We got bell peppers. These are only 99 cents a piece. I think the bell pepper was $1.29, uh, the green one. But they're not organic. They're just regular because we couldn't find the organic ones until after we already bagged these, and it's awkward whenever you you know, put them back after you already bagged them. So we just bought the non-organic ones. Organic onion, which was $1.99. A little steep for just one onion, but we need it for our chili. Uh, romaine hearts were two for $4, and this is the Josie Organics line. Um, so that just fell. <laughs> so this is two for four. We'll do a lot of salads with that or boats. <clears throat> and then we got some 
yellow squash. This was $1.79 a pound, I believe, and this is a little over a pound for three of them. So we'll be able to do some chicken alfredo and just make these into our noodles. And then they had lilies there, which of course, me and Nick always buy lilies. It's our special treat, even though we probably shouldn't because they're just so hard to refrain from eating. But they were only $3.99, which I've said in my previous video, $3.99 is a really good deal for lilies around here. So that's really exciting. Again, salted almond milk and creamy milk are the best two ones personally. And then we got some carrots, organic carrots, which they look so cute, so pretty but we're gonna make a roast out of some carrots, even though I know it's a little bit higher. We also carbs. got butter from Sam's Club, which um, like I said before, we usually use the Kerrygold, but this is the pasteurized butter, and I believe this is like $5 for four sticks, which is actually, uh, I mean, I can't taste any difference in butter. Butter's good on anything. Right there, he's just modeling the pork rinds that we got. These are never at our Sam's Club, um, but we had Utz pork rinds, and they were only $6.98 for a huge thing of it. I don't like pork rinds, but Nick <laughs> likes the pork rinds a lot, and I know there's a lot you can do with it, so we're gonna try to get a little bit creative. So this is Trader Joe's cauliflower mash. Did not turn out what I thought it would turn out at all, um, but we did get some broccoli that night and steamed it. Got some butter in a pan so that we can do our salmon. We got salmon at Whole Foods, I believe. I think it was like $13.99 a pound for sockeye wild caught salmon. So that was exciting. And this is kind of the after preview of exactly what it looked like. I think I did a dang good job and it does look like mashed potatoes, but it's cauliflower mashed potatoes, kind of chunky, not my, not my ideal cauliflower mashed potato. So if anyone has any tips, please let me know. I definitely need some help.